Hey, what's going on guys? Root from NoShell.com today, and we are back with some more Python tutorials. Yeah! <laughs> now, today we're looking at else and elif. We're trying to continue off that little, uh, that little if mini-series that we've been doing. I wouldn't call it a mini-series, but it's just, it's just such an important concept that I want to, I want to give you guys all the information, all the knowledge that you can get with that sort of keyword. So, let's look at some more, uh, let's more, look at some more conditional testing and that sort of thing. Let's get idle started up. I'll drag it on over here so you can you can see what I'm up to. Let's create a new new program, get everything going up. And I'll save this. Actually, I will save this, not open a new file. I hit the wrong key there. File.python overwrite that. And uh, we'll start building. Okay, I'm ready whenever you guys are, and let's get cracking. I'm going to keep using my virgins and uh, what Bin Laden said example. Virgins, what Bin Laden said. Alright, so now let's get to testing. Inside our conditional statement, we're going to want the condition of if virgins is equal to what Bin Laden said. We can display... Bin Laden was right. Now when we run that, that should execute because 72 is equal to 72. Now, we can add what they call an else statement. Or at least else is another code block. So if something is not something, if else, then, let's see, we can print Bin Laden was wrong. Now this makes sense, right? If it's not 72, then Bin Laden wasn't right, because he had said 72, <laughs> and then when you don't get in all those virgins, he's wrong. There you go. So that's exactly what this else statement is doing. It's, it's the not scenario, if something is not something else. So we can run this, and uh, Bin Laden was wrong. There you go. So now, there's also what we have an elif statement. And elif statement allows you to test once more, even after you've created this not scenario. So if it's not equal to, you could test if uh, if virgins is greater than what Bin Laden said. And in that case, we would print... Uh, looks like Bin Laden under-exaggerated, underestimated, I'm thinking. I'm thinking that's what I want, yeah. Alright, looks like Bin Laden underestimated. There you go. Virgins is greater than what Bin Laden said. And this will not run, but we're going to try it anyway. Yep, exactly. It won't run because virgins is still 71. That's less than 72, so it's not going to work. It's not equal to, so it won't run this first conditional statement. And... It won't even run this one. It won't even look at it because it's not it's not evaluating this one correctly. Well, actually, yeah, we'll move to this next one, but it won't run this one at all because it's not it's not it's not greater than it's less than. So we can change this value to let's say like 34, and then we run it again. This looks like looks like Bin Laden underestimated. So now let's add another elif statement because we can add as many of these as we want. Let's say uh, virgins is. Less than what Bin Laden said. Finish up this little block here. Get to print. And we'll change this to over-exaggerated. Now we're going to rerun this. It looks like, because we're still at 74, we can change it back to 71. It looks like Bin Laden over-exaggerated. So now let's add ourselves a... Let's give ourselves a little bit more functionality, just like we were doing before. We can set virgins equal to uh, input. How many virgins did you find?
So now they can input that, and we can give it a go. Let's run this here. How many virgins did you find? Eh, one. Looks like Bin Laden over exaggerated. We can do it again. Let's say uh, 72. Looks like Bin Laden was right. And we can do it again. Let's say, uh, that's not even a number. What am I doing? Let's try one more time. <laughs> uh, zero, 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 zero. 91. 92. <laughs> Alright, I'm just playing around at this point, guys. I'm sorry. We'll run it again. Let's say we got 528. 29, actually. It looks like Bin Laden underestimated. So, there you go. This is Elif and Else. And you can see exactly what's going on here. I'm interested if we if we tried this with a string variable. If we were like, Bin Laden is damn crazy. If it's not even anywhere near a number. If we had changed it to uh, raw input. I wonder if it'll even bother testing this. Hello. No, it's less than that. That's interesting, though, because I wonder if it's looking at that like the ASCII table or something. If we piped in, uh, this is a pretty long sentence. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I wonder what the value is of a vergence. We could print the integer value of vergence. And then we will... Actually, we'll turn that into a string once more, so we can concatenate on there a new line just to keep things easy. Now you've got yourself a little bit of more of a bigger program, so... Um... King... Henry... I don't know. Okay, that's not gonna go. Hmm. It doesn't look like you can convert the that string into an integer because there's no integers in there. That's that's interesting. What if we what if we tried typing in mm, about twenty or so? No. Still nothing. Well, there you go guys. Be able to experiment. I want you guys to be able to play around and learn things, see what you can do and cannot do, just like I do every now and again, because that's, that's all you can do by learning. <laughs> but yeah, here are some examples. Here what Here is what Elif and Else is. The Else we didn't get a chance to look at in this example, but the previous example we were first looking at it, it, it does work okay. It's, it is that not scenario when Elif allows you to check for more scenarios and that sort of thing. So uh, I, I hope you use this in your program. I know I do quite a lot, at least the L statement. I don't use the LF too often, because I'll usually just nest that. And that's actually what our next subject is about, nesting statements, nesting conditional statements, nesting that sort of thing. So here we go. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for listening. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial.